I'm in quarantine, but look what just arrived. The brand new 2020 iPad Pro. So let's get this unboxed and take a closer look. So here it is guys, the iPad Pro. This is the 12 0.9 inch version. This is the Wi-Fi and cellular with one terabyte of storage. This is the box that it comes in. And then I also got sent the smart keyboard folio uh, and an Apple pencil as well. Now, unfortunately, the Magic Keyboard, which is something that I was really looking forward to trying out, won't be available until May. Um, so we'll have to postpone that until a bit later on. But first, let's open the iPad Pro. The Apple have made this incredibly easy now. There's no need for a, a pair of scissors or a knife. Yeah. So taking the lid off that, you get to see the iPad Pro itself. Now this particular version is the Space Gray. Check that out, how beautiful is that? Previous to this, I actually have an iPad Pro from the previous generation, which is a silver, and it's actually a smaller, one as well 11 inches i'll show you that side by side comparison in a moment but that's included there Some paperwork including quick start guide warranty information and those infamous apple stickers a usb c to usb c charging cable the plug in this particular version is the three pinned plug for this part of the world so that's included in the box let's quickly unbox the smart keyboard folio as well. I think this is a pretty much standard that you need with the iPad Pro if you're gonna get that. So that's the case inside. Still has the same material as the previous generation. And that's the folio keyboard there. Finally, let's quickly unbox the Apple Pencil. ready to be charged on top of the iPad Pro. So here it is, the iPad Pro all set up. And on first impressions, let's talk about that display because it is absolutely stunning. As someone that's come from the uh, previous generation iPad Pro, the 11 inch, this 12.9 inch is a welcome upgrade because you've got much more screen to use and play around with. It's still the liquid retina display, so it has that 120 hertz refresh rate, the ProMotion capabilities, but the colors, the vibrancies, I, I mean, this is one of the best displays, if not the best display on a tablet currently on the market absolutely stunning now if we look around the ipad pro really nothing has changed in terms of a design except for the camera i'll talk about that in a moment but in terms of the design it's pretty much what we've already seen you still have the speakers the four speakers two at the top and two at the bottom you have the usb-c uh charging cable and this is the connecting port as well if you want to use that for peripherals on the side over here we have the uh, volume rocker and then right at the top we have the power button the wake on off power button this new 2020 ipad pro also features five studio quality microphones for super clean recordings so this is going to be useful if you're looking for audio quality you also have the true depth camera on this ipad pro that's used for face id and also for the front facing cameras for portrait and selfies Turning the iPad around, that's where we're gonna find some of the differences. One is internal. It's powered by the A12Z Bionic uh, chipset with the neural engine. It has a better CPU performance, graphic performance. Apple is saying that this uh, will deliver 2.6 times faster performance than the A10X Fusion and also faster than the A12X Bionic. Now, the other major difference is in the camera bump. So this is the first time we're seeing a dual camera system on the iPad Pro. We have a 12 megapixel wide camera and then a 10 megapixel ultra wide camera. Now that camera setup will allow you to shoot 4K video up to 60 frames per second. And it also has the standard smart HDR, the quad LED true tone flash. But there is a third addition to that camera bump, and that is a brand new LiDAR scanner. So the LiDAR scanner is short for light detection and ranging. And the idea is that this scanner is going to be incorporated and really useful 
for augmented reality. So hopefully some of the updates that will be coming in terms of applications and use case scenarios are gonna mean that we're gonna get much better augmented reality experiences with that LiDAR scanner. Now again, I'm really keen on testing this out in my full review, so do check back for that. With a 12.9 inch iPad Pro, um, it's gonna be really interesting to use it as a viewfinder, particularly now with the dual camera setup that includes that ultra wide. I mean, how cool does that look? Absolutely stunning. Now you can also zoom in up to 5X as well. So this is gonna be useful for those of you that use your iPad Pros for photos and videos. So let's attach the iPad Pro to the Smart Keyboard Folio. It still attaches via magnets on the side over here. One thing I have noticed is on the back, you'll notice that the Apple logo now is in landscape mode as opposed to portrait, which is what it was previously. Um, one other thing is that you can still uh, move it in those two different viewing angles if you want it back there or you want it further down, particularly when you're typing. The keyboard is exactly the same on this. There are no differences to the previous generation, none that I can actually see. Typing is still, this is easy. It's still the same when it comes to tactile feedback. The big test is going to be seeing how this performs with the Magic Keyboard, particularly with that trackpad incorporated as well. The Apple Pencil still works with the iPad Pro. I don't use this so often to uh, make doodles and draw, but I do use this on occasions for taking notes, particularly in meetings and such, and it still does a very, very good job. Incredibly fluid and natural as well. Guys, one last thing I wanna show you is what the 12.9 inch iPad Pro looks like compared next to the 11 inch iPad. Uh, this is the 2019, so the older iPad Pro versus the newer 2020 iPad Pro, but still the size is very, very noticeable. Um, as someone that's been using this quite a lot this year, I actually feel that the bump up in display size is certainly worth considering. So any of you content creators or people that need a larger or want a larger display might be worth taking a closer look at this. Um, but this is what they look like side by side. Uh, the other thing that I really wanna show you very quickly is on the back, that camera bump has changed. Obviously we have the single camera on the previous generation iPad Pro versus the dual camera setup over here with that LiDAR scanner on the newer 2020 iPad Pro. Uh, guys, this is just an unboxing and first look. I will bring you a more detailed review, plus I really wanna make some uh, content where we test out the capabilities on the new iPad Pro. So if you wanna see that, be sure to smash that like button, hit subscribe to see more video content like this from the channel. And until next time, I'm M. Kwan with the brand new iPad Pro 2020. I'll see you in the next video. Peace and blessings.